In, diesem Video In this video, I will show you how you can verify your automation software using process models, for example, in order to test sequence controls. After all the coupling signals and device models have been added and suitable process models have been created, the virtual commissioning of the automation software can start. My project contains raw material tanks and reactors that I have created process models for. The physical behavior of the raw material tanks has been represented using components from the standard and flowNet libraries. The equations for the volume and thermal balance of the reactors have been combined into one component using the component type editor. In simulation mode, I can check on the process level whether the sequence controls in my automation project function correctly. I can check how the tanks fill and whether all the valves and pumps are being controlled correctly. In addition, I can monitor the control process for the volume flow in the pipes and identify whether the specified quantities are being dosed correctly into the reactors. The dosing process comes to an end when all the valves are closed again and the pumps stop. In the next series of steps, I can see the heating process and the stirring of the raw materials. This is also shown on the overview diagram in SIMIT. This displays all the device models and process models in one central diagram which enables me to intervene anywhere in the process. For example, I can introduce a disturbance by means of a script. The operator notices that there is an uncontrolled rise in the temperature. After the vent valve has been unlocked, the operator can open the valve manually to reduce the temperature. The filling process is shown both in the PCS7 OS and in the simulation diagram of the conveyor system. An animation is created of the filling process and the transport of the goods on the conveyor. Virtual commissioning with SIMIT simulation framework. Fast, flexible and easy.